why not play some Pikmin? <laughs> I just thought I would show this game since I mentioned it and all, and... Yeah, let's do another random gameplay. <laughs> so, I've never beat this game before. This right here is my best attempt. 29 out of 30 ship parts. I am terrible at real-time strategy games, horrible at time management, and you see the results there. I, I've never been able to beat this game. Uh, let's just go do a new one. <laughs> I'll, I'll take advantage of the unlimited time that I have in day one to uh, actually play. <laughs> so here we go, here's the beginning of the game. We're flying through space, well, just Alamar. I, I guess we're watching from a TV set and all. Oh, a meteor is never a good thing whenever you see it in a cutscene. Yep, sure enough, they collide. No, And that's basically the story of this game, is you're stranded on this planet. Uh, Earth, actually. <laughs> um... And you have to escape the planet by getting your ship parts back. You don't need to collect them all to get off the planet, but if you want to get 100%, you need all 30. And it certainly seems easy in concepts, at, at least that's what I think, but I've never been able to pull it off. <laughs> I mean, you would think I'd be able to do a one or two ship parts a day, but no, I am a very, very bad real-time strategy player. <laughs> No, my ship, it's all busted up and smoking, and that, that really doesn't look too good at all. <laughs> but strangely, it is still functional to a point. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, as we're on Earth, this, this game takes place long after human civilization went extinct, basically. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's how the game's storyline goes. Even though that Olimar looks human, he's actually alien to this planet. And here we go! We're moving with the control stick, and we're looking for a uh, onion. I forgot where it is. It's been a while. So oh, okay. <laughs> I just kind of ran across it. It's been years since I played this game. I played Pikmin 2 more than I played Pikmin 1. Because, as I said, the, the time thing just gets to me, and I actually don't like the time factor of this game, that you only have 30 days, and basically if you fail, the consequences is pretty much a whole game restart, and that's uh, a lot of pressure on you, if you ask me. <laughs> and I, I really don't like games that have a time system, but I know this game is lenient enough to work, it's just that I'm bad at playing it. It's definitely a good game, and, and I do like playing it. I would just prefer Pikmin 2 over it, but I wouldn't want to play Pikmin 2 before I'd play Pikmin 1 on my channel. It doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to pluck this critter out with ye old large A button. Oh, look how cute it is! It's staring into my soul, though. Those eyes, oh my. <laughs> this is a Pikmin. And they are... breeding machines, basically. <laughs> well, actually, that onion above them is. So does that make this Pikmin a male and the onion a female? Because you feel... No, I, I, I shouldn't question this too much. This is getting kind of nauseating. So anyway, let's just uh, get through this dialogue here and move on with things. If I was um, like doing maybe a, a walkthrough of it, I would wait until it would have flowered first and try to get as many flower Pikmin as I possibly could on the first day. Uh, just because I'm just that bad at real-time strategy games. <laughs> And I want to give myself the best advantage I can, since I have unlimited time on the first day. And yeah, you get the idea. And you'll notice that the matching colored, um, I think I believe those are called pellet posies. So those pellets, when they go into the onions, they match the color, and then you get more seeds, um, despite the number that's on the pellet. Anyway, let's go over and flick it. I can't even aim a Pikmin properly. 
Get on the plant. Thank you. And also take that over to the onion. And I'm going to repeatedly press the A button to pluck them as fast as I possibly can. I'm also going to take advantage of the R button to move the camera around. That will, I, th I think I'll keep it like there is good. I think that'll give us the best detail and experience, so to speak. No, I didn't want to throw you. <laughs> And I should have kept tapping the A button. No, oh, poopers. So oh, poopers. Anyway, as I was saying about the time system of this game, uh, that's pretty much the reason why I never beat it. Was because I don't know. It's just like it just feels like there's like there's too much pressure. I can't relax except on uh, day one here <laughs> for obvious reasons. Uh, there's a pellet up there, and there's a five pellet over there. Should probably get this one down there first, I guess. And then chuck a few Pikmin over by that five, but yeah, they're not gonna be able to carry that, it's too heavy. You there! Get over to the onion faster! And this is another thing that I don't really like about uh, real-time strategy games, even though I do like Pikmin, is, anyway, is the fact that, um, that you have to wait a lot in real-time strategy games. Now, I understand that the whole, I mean, that one of the aspects of real-time strategy games is time management, but I'm not good at that! <laughs> So I, I guess I can't really blame the game for my own mess-ups, per se. <laughs> as, I, as I said, I do like playing the game and I do believe it is worth playing. I said I would never play a game that I don't think is worth playing on my channel. Because, you know, that's advertisement and all. <laughs> and also, I, I can't do every game in the world, even if it is a good game. So... Even if you were to say, hey, why aren't you doing this game then? If Because it's a good game and I know you like this game. Well, I only have 24 hours in each day like every other person. <laughs> I can't make that many walkthroughs, man. I can't make that many walkthroughs. Anyway, let's start. No, I said start plucking. And... and there's also a lot of micromanaging in... Uh... Uh, Real-time strategy games as well. This game isn't as much of an exception though uh, Since you can well, I guess there is some points where you, where you would have to like separate Pikmin and then carefully um, Sort them by by your needs per se and notice that there's a 10 on the box That means you need 10 Pikmin to push it over obviously and there you go And Any day now guys Yeah, there we go <laughs> I guess maybe I'm just too impatient to appreciate real-time strategy games, per se, and that's one of the reasons why I don't really take the time to get better at them. <laughs> I, I know I could 100% Pikmin. I know I can! It's I've seen people do this game easily 100% this game in, like, under 15 days. I don't come close, ever! <laughs> But I'm just showing off this game, just to show you how I play the game and whatnot. And there's the engine to the ship, in case you didn't see that. I'll just do the little cutscene thingy over here, just to get that over with. <laughs> it's, it's like the engine and the thrusters to the ship, yeah. Because that thing makes your ship go up in the air. and Even though it's going to be very wobbly. <laughs> It's not very stable at the moment, let's just say that, but I question how this thing is still running. Like, just, it's, its pistons are going right there as it's out in the open. I mean, what's controlling the power source to this thing? I probably shouldn't question it, but anyway, I'm gonna need more Pikmin before I'm even able to uh, lift that thing. I believe it takes 20. I played this game enough and failed it enough to know that it takes 20. <laughs> Even though it's been years since I played it, I did attempt to play through it a bunch of times and failed each and every time. <laughs> but alas, I already taught that thing with the pressing the A button rapidly to get through it. I wonder if I'll ever be able to 100% this game. Probably not at my rate. <laughs> Maybe I should give it another go um, because of the fact that... I'm a much more experienced gamer than I have been years ago since the last time I played this game. I definitely want to get through this game. As I know it's easy to do, well, supposedly it's easy to do. And I got 23, I thought I thought you could get 25 in this, oh wait, wait. 
I th yeah, I thought you could get 25 in this first area. Did I miss... Oh, I missed that pellet up there. E. Yeah, I actually hit it. <laughs> and don't carry the pellet back, please. Uh, I actually don't need that one, so I'll just leave him be. I I'll actually focus on time management here. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Carry, carry, and... I'll just plop these guys over here, because they'll automatically grab onto it when it gets close enough to it. Like so. There we go. Just got to put it in the path of ye ol uh, walking circle of Pikmin. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna take them a while to get back. Again, I'm being impatient, and I know that the idea is to like clear the pathway as you go so they don't get attacked as they're carrying whatever they're carrying over to your ship or uh, onions. That's another reason why this kind of stuff takes a while, and that's another part of the real-time strategy aspect, but uh, I'm just too impatient for this. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Jesus, you're right there. Ship, pick it up. <laughs> I knew you could do it. And somehow, the ship puts itself back together. Well, whatever pieces it can. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I get, maybe the ship has like an automatic recovery system or something like that. Well, it's a successful first day. Woohoo! I wonder if I should do day two just to show you how I manage playing this game when there's the time limit on my heels. I think that's what I'm gonna do is just like play one more day here and see how things go, I guess. <laughs> I, I believe every day, um, quote unquote day, is um, 13 minutes of in-game time or something like that. Oh boy, this isn't gonna go well. <laughs> this is also gonna make the video like a half hour, but eh, this is just a random gameplay. And there we go. Yeah, the, the Pikmin in there, onion slash ship slash female breeding machine follows us through space. Through the next, I mean, to the next landing area, and I can't get the ship part in this beginning area. There's only two ship parts in the first area until I get some more Pikmin types. So, yeah. So, next, I'm going to, I believe, what it is the uh, Forest of Hope, is it? Yep. And there's our Pikmin. Breeding stats. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll save. That's as good as a first day can possibly be. Except for the fact that I didn't wait for them to flower. <laughs> You'll notice that there's ship parts marked by stars. There's eight in this area. Yeah, let's go! Hurry it up! <laughs> the Forest of Hope. Ah, calming music. Uh, those rock walls over there can't be destroyed until you get some yellow Pikmin. Now they're gonna give us a little tutorial on how to pull them out of the onion. Not not the yellow ones. Not the yellow ones. I mean the red ones. And we're gonna have to wait for them to break down that wall. Good. And maybe I should get a couple more of these critters over to. Wait, did you grab the pellet? No, you didn't grab the pellet. Curse you. <laughs> Alright, so... That's a yellow one. Do I want... Do I really want to... Just pick it off from the top, please. There we go. I'll, I'll save that for when I get the yellow onion, I guess. You guys, start breaking down this wall. Hurry! Hurry! We don't... We only have 13 minutes in, in this quote-unquote day. <laughs> and, uh, uh... The reason... Oh, uh, did, I, did I mention that I like Pikmin 2 over Pikmin 1 because you have as many days as you need to play the game, basically? Well, now I did. <laughs> See, there's just so much pressure on you to get the job done, and I'm already feeling stressed. Because <laughs> it's like, where do I start? I know there's a ship part over there, but I know there's a ship part down there, but there's Bulborb over there, but should I be breeding more Pikmin to be able to do them, and there's another ship part over there guarded by little Bulborbs, or Dwarf Bulborbs, excuse me, and it's just like, what, where, how do I manage my time? I don't know. 
as many times as I've played, or I shouldn't say played through this game because I never finished it, as, but I should say as many times as I restarted this game from the start, you would think I would know uh, where the best things to be are, and I just would like to kill you in one shot by plopping a Pikmin on your head. There we go. And there's a blue pellet for the blue Pikmin later. But first, let's clear the way. Come on, drop it on his head. There we go. Another one. Instant kill when you hit him on the head. If you didn't notice, that's why I'm aiming for that. How many does this take? Eternal Fuel Dynamo 40. I don't have nearly enough. <laughs> I might as well have a bunch of these. Take the 10. There we go. You grab the little dwarf bulb orbs, I guess. Yes, there we go. Must breed more Pikmin. Oh, wait, there's another one over here I missed. Come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This isn't gonna. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say that wasn't gonna go well because it's seen me. Because you have to kind of like ambush them for the uh, best chance of being able to uh, hit them in, in one go. Like, kill them in one go, excuse me. So, yeah, we're just reading Pikmin at this time, and that's uh, another impatient aspect of my uh, real-time strategy thing here <laughs> that I have to wait so much and why why are they taking such a big detour all you have to do is go through here you don't have to go to the center before you go to the onion you can just go straight to the onion by cutting the corner a little bit guys <laughs> and gotta pluck a ton of Pikmin here just look how many things they're breeding it's Preposterous! <laughs> I think 49 will be pretty good. I think maybe could be to take on that normal sized bulb orb over there on the other side as well as carry back the ship part. And wow. <laughs> I'm just tapping the A button and look how much time has already passed and I still don't have a ship part! <laughs> Should I be having a ship part at this time, or should I be working on getting my numbers up? See, this is what I mean. I'm not... I don't understand the time management aspect of real-time strategy games. That, that's definitely my biggest issue with real-time strategy. Okay, gotta sneak around. I hope 55 is enough to take it on. <sighs> A button mash, a button of death, yeah! <laughs> and how many do you take? Ten? I, I have I have way too many there. <laughs> how many? Did I just call all the math? That's preposterous. I'll just call them. <laughs> there we go. Now I sh I'll be able to take this back. Come on, guys. There we go. I got myself a ship part. Wait, I'll, I'll take a couple of them. Wait, go and carry... What? What are you, what are you doing? At 41, good, fine. <laughs> it's like they all stop carrying it at once. It's like, what? Why would you do that? Aren't you guys trying to help me? Oh, these bomb rocks are only carryable by yellow Pikmin. Just uh, leave them for now. I could build that bridge, but I really don't think that'll help me. <laughs> Yeah I, yeah, I need the blue Pikmin to get across there. And once again, I have to uh, wait a lot for them to breed some more, as well as carry that ship part back. I might as well grab this. No, no, no. I want you to get that one. Now pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. I knew you could do it. <laughs> and it's getting close to the ship. It sits there, and half a day is almost gone. <laughs> Yay! Happy little Pikmin. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I will. I will start plucking these while the other ones get over to the ship as well. Well, the onion. Hurry, Alamar! Pluck faster. We don't have much time. <laughs> um, I gotta wait for those two to fall, don't I? Yeah. Come on. I guess I can pick you guys up. Come on. Come on. 
Just need two more. There we go. No, I didn't mean to throw you. Dang it. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to try something here. No, I'm not. I, I can I can skip a portion to get that ship part up there early to save time, but that's not really how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. Is that that would be kind of like showing you how to cheat the game. <laughs> well, I, I guess I could tell you if you want to use it yourself, but what you're, you're supposed to do is throw Pikmin up to that ledge and then walk through the water to the other side and then you'll be able to call them using that pathway that you normally can't get those uh, red Pikmin through and then you gotta kill the... No, no. Oh, freaking. <laughs> Stop pressuring me! No, I, I don't want to know! <laughs> And uh, what I would do is kill the enemy over there and then take the ship part back here. Come on. Come on. Lots of time being wasted here. See, how is it possible to beat this game in like 11 days? I, I think the world record is like 11 days or something like that. How? How? It's impossible. <laughs> no, of course it's not impossible. I've, I've seen speedruns of people doing it. I should just like follow the speedrun, but I can't. But as I said, I'm not. I'm not good at the management aspect of it. Here's some yellow Pikmin, by the way. I should say the yellow onion. Yay! I should probably get the yellow numbers up. Yee. And well, whenever that thing comes live. I think I should probably start attacking Big Mama over here. Yeah. If you want to throw Pikmin faster, uh, use your left hand to sort of corral the Pikmin closer to you, like that, and have them swarm around you, and then rapidly press the A button. You'll be able to um, throw Pikmin a lot faster than if they were to... Uh, just sit behind you and be in like a line like they move in sort of a um, Store line of sorts I don't know how to call it. They they they, they move in like an Orderly fashion see how they move from one row to another like that, but it's so much slower to throw them like that See that's as fast as I can possibly do it that way, but if I move the control stick you can rapidly machine gun fire those suckers. <laughs> anyway, what I want to do is... Give me yellow. More yellow. Must get yellow numbers to work in my favor. <laughs> and this is another thing is I, I waste a lot of time breeding Pikmin, or I shouldn't say waste a lot of time, because I, I don't know how many Pikmin I need necessarily, because some days they don't go too well because of my lack of skill in real-time strategy games. I suppose I could just restart a, um, a day from the very beginning if it goes poorly, because the game gives you the option. It literally tells you that you can pretty much do that, but I, I never really did that because it almost feels like cheating to do that. Because, this, because of the whole survival aspects and storyline of this game, so to speak. Uh, I need the yellows to grab the bomb rocks. Come on, just... No, no cutscene, please. <laughs> yes, 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 I know how to use the Pikmin as they have bomb rocks. And now once you have them with bomb rocks, then you corral them together separate them, grab only the ones with the bomb rocks, and then throw them near the wall. And they'll drop their bomb rocks. Wait, why did you grab... I mean, why did you not throw your bomb? You are being a very bad soldier here. <laughs> there you go. Good boy. And now the wall is down. We can move on. I know there's more bomb rocks over there for other walls, but I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. Oh, poopers, those, oh wait, those aren't the threatening kind of things. Oh wait, that one is though. If one of those purple ones grabs onto a Pikmin, it's an instant Pikmin death, and I think it just got one. Yeah, that, that was pretty sucky there. Oh well, wait, wait, don't, no, I got another one. I lost another man. No. Wait, where, where's, where'd two go? Wait, where? Oh, it's, 
it's carrying something back. Well, whatever. Let's just get the radar dish so we can get some uh, um, info on where our good old ship parts are at. Attack, 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 attack. Oh, poopers. It, did it get one? Nope. Ow. <laughs> I don't really care if I take hits as much as I do losing Pikmin because you recover your energy at the end of the day and I'm far better at taking care of myself than the Pikmin ever have been. <laughs> um, yeah, 56 is enough to take on Mama over there, I think. I'm going to try and get the baby first. Um, please, don't see me. Please. E no, 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 no! Okay. <laughs> it almost got one, but it didn't. Almost isn't cutting it. Wait, which way, which way should I get the Pikmin across so it doesn't wake up the mama like this? That works. Okay. Come on. Now, I'm gonna do the C stick combined with. Uh, no, don't break down the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna do the C stick combined with rapid throwing. Here we go. Corellum. And rapid throw like crazy. And he shouldn't kill any Pikmin actually. Oh, he got a Pikmin. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm not losing that many of the critters. So I guess it's not that bad. Hmm. I need to grab a yellow. Like, I, I thought I could switch between colors with the D pad. Oh, well, I'll just do it like that. I hope they'll be able to get back to the uh, onion in time to breed. <laughs> uh, Any ones that are underground will be safe, so I guess that's not really much of a, a big deal if I miss plucking any, because I'll be back here on another day. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, yes, I know, but where... Oh, my... What should I do? Should I go save those Pikmin before they get devoured, or... Well, well, those are safe at the base, I guess. Those are safe underground, which I can pluck in the morning when I fly back here on day three. Uh, now I can detect parts if I press... Oops, it is the... Uh, wait, which, which button for the map? It's a Y button. Okay, I forgot. See where the stars are? That's where the ship parts are, but... As I said, not good at managing my time. Even though I know all this stuff, I am not good at managing my time. And I should, I should probably start gathering them before uh, this turns into a Pikmin disaster. And you guys... I, don't, I didn't see any over there that were just like left hanging out. Don't pick up anything, please. Don't. I don't have time for you guys to pick up anything at the moment. Uh, those yellow... Oh my. Those yellow ones will be safe. Get the red ones. No! Time management! Not on my side! Um, I hope I didn't miss any. I don't think I missed any. Because they should be at the safe spot underneath the onion. Those are considered bases. And they'll fly back with us. And I'll just get as many of these plucked as I can. Ooh, there's a budded Pikmin there for leaving it in the ground long enough. How many can I pluck before we hit zero? I... I guess I got them all. <laughs> Please tell me I didn't miss any. Wait, where do you, where did the yellow ones go to? Do they actually go to their own ship? Because the ship's pretty far away. <laughs> if you think about it, will they be able to survive? And I don't, I don't think any died. I should say I don't think I missed any. A poor wobbly ship. Nope, didn't miss any. Haha, -ha, you're going hungry tonight. <laughs> And thus, that is the end of day two, and you see how I play the game now. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this one-shot video, and I will see you in the next one. Next random video of sorts. You get the idea. Doo -doo -doo! I should probably save.